Yo, yo, so I sent me a message saying, what's a sink breaker? You keep referring to sink breakers in your story. So, yeah, I should have explained that. So, seeing as I'm sat here fixing the wife's computer, because I'm her company's IT department, I'll briefly explain it for you, yeah? In its most simplest form, you have a little fanny generator. It's probably massive at the size of a fucking house, but it's little fanny generator compared to the whole of the national grid, yeah? And you connect your three phases from your generator through the sink breaker to the national grid and what we're saying is the national grid goes round in a direction at a frequency yeah and your generator let's draw an arrow on that four thingy your generator goes round in a direction and at a frequency yeah the national grid frequency is 50 hertz bang on pretty much and the direction is, I don't fucking know, yeah, let's not get that technical, but it goes in a certain direction. So these phases go round in a direction, and the generator produces phases in a direction. Now, what you do is when you're installing it, you do what they call phasing out. So you make sure that it naturally goes in the same direction. So you need to check that, though, as part of it. But what you do is, as part of the phasing out, which is the thing you do on HV, you make sure the phases will go in the same direction, like this. However, the generator's frequency could change... Don't get me fucking started on science this, but basically what we want to do is, when the generator is spinning, this frequency might be doing this, and the generator's frequency might be doing that. They are not matched up, but we want them to be like this. And we want the other one to just sit on top of it like that. So they're in unity, basically. And at that point, when this matches this, we slam this closed. Boink, boink, boink. And that means that the generator, I forget only of a minute, yeah? So when the generator, the direction and the frequencies match, the grid and the generator, the electricity will just naturally flow out onto the grid and supply the shit like your mum's massive dildo, yeah? We call that being in sync. And at that point, this sync breaker is closed to allow that energy to naturally flow out. If you got your direction wrong and the sync breaker closes, the fucking entire thing just destroys itself because the national grid will try and turn your generator the other way. If you're doing nothing with your engine and you close the sink breaker, you turn your generator into a motor, which doesn't sound that bad, but when there's no oil pressure, it fucks things up pretty fucking quickly. So this synchronisation thing is important. This sink breaker is important. And I'll just show you a couple of things we have on the sink breakers. When does this know when to close? What's, what's going off? And I referenced this in the story did today that we need to know what each side's doing. Now, I'm not an expert on this, yeah, I just know the, the basic principle how this works, yeah. First of all, what you need is you need a reference voltage. So you take a reference voltage off this side, which is called the grid reference voltage, or the main reference voltage. And you take a reference voltage off this side, which is called your generation reference voltage, yeah. And back in the good old days here, you'd have all sorts of fucking mad shit, synchroscopes and all that bollocks, but now you get specialised controllers that just do the whole lot. Um, Comap is one to Google. There's a firm called Deep Sea that make them. Uh, just look at synchronization controllers, synchroscopes, generators, and all that, yeah? So, what this does is this looks at this voltage and phasing and rotation, and this looks at this voltage and phasing and rotation, and it makes sure for a start that they're the same. So that when this breaker closes, it doesn't fucking blow one side up or, well, basically, fuck your generator. Just to keep this simple now, yeah? The generator's engine. We'll have an ECU, an engine control unit, yeah? Like you have in your car that you go to pull birds at the bus stop with. To keep it simple, if this does not match this, this probably needs to go faster or slower. That's not true, but I'm just going to say that. So this brain is capable of adjusting the ECU to make the generator do different things so that it brings it into sync with this ACB. Let me draw that. The sync breaker needs to synchronise the generator to the grid, but the sync breaker is just a switch. So the synchronisation controller is me capable of measuring each side's voltage, current, all that bollocks, yeah? And it basically says, is it going the right way? Is everything okay? Yes, it is. And then it says, well, the only thing it needs to do is the generator is not in sync. So the controls the ECU to make it in sync. And it looks at it like this lock. So the green is the generator, the blue is the thing. They're not in sync. The ECU starts sending messages and it goes, whoa, 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 and then they start going to sync and they're getting better. Then it finesses it off and eventually they fall into line. And guess what you do just here when it's like this? That synchronization breaker bangs in 
and that is how you bring a generator, a single generator, in sync with the grid so that the electricity can flow. You only need one of these for loads of generators, or you might only have one controller that brings in loads of sync breakers. Obviously, this needs to be set up correctly, but if something man up is like you take the generator away and you put one back and it's going backwards, the sync unit will just see that and go, no, there's something wrong. If the grid tries to move the generator, the sync unit will see that and know there's something wrong. This, like I say, used to be loads of different components, but now it's, it's an overall package. So that's when I refer to sync breakers, that's what I'm on about. It doesn't have to be a motor. It could be a fucking solar farm, I'm guessing. Is that right? I think it's right. You've still got to sync it. It could be a steam generator, a gas generator, a turbine, fucking anything, yeah? Um, and it could also be... What else do we sync? Yeah, it's going to be some sort of alternate or something. But yeah, that's what the sync breaker does. So it keeps them separate till they make, meet each other, till they're ready to meet each other like this. Bangs them in. Bosh. There you go. So thanks for asking and wasting five minutes of my time. Feel free to ask me more questions. I'm basically just a fucking free college. That is a basic principle of a synchronisation break, yeah? Please, for fuck's sake, don't go to some job where there's a generator or 20 of them and start working on synchronisation breakers just because you've seen my basic principles video, yeah? My biggest fear at work that I live in constant fear of is that I'll be working on some control system or coding or doing something or other or just fucking I'll put my finger in the wrong place and I'll inadvertently close a sync breaker either through physical interaction with the button or via sending electrical signal and the sync breaker will close when there is absolutely no connection between it and the grid or, or is it ready to do that so obviously there's loads of fail safes in there and loads of um interlocking and stuff like that but my biggest fear is that i'll close one turn the engine and the alternator into a motor and just some fucking freewheeling engine shit because it inevitably ends up with the whole fucking thing needed to be rebuilt at huge expense it's literally my biggest fear uh, at that fear do not try this at home. Don't say Jamie Blake on the internet told you how to do it. Yeah, don't start fucking showing it to people because if you show that to a generator, generator a proper generator engineer, they'll have the tits off. It's a basic understanding, yeah? Can't emphasise enough how dangerous sinking things to the national grid is uh, to your wallet and to your personal face if it explodes in front of you. So, yeah, stay safe out there. If you want to do some synchronisation, get someone like me who absolutely knows what I'm doing.